All right. So we are now living in a time where anyone can create a web app, a mobile app for Android or iOS, and even a complex SaaS without any technical knowledge or coding skills. All you got to do is to just explain what you want to build in the language that you're comfortable in. It don't necessarily have to be even English. If you're comfortable in, let's say, English or Hinklish or Portuguese or any other regional language, you can just explain what you want to build in that particular language to the AI and the AI gets to work. Well, in this video, I'm talking about Dualite, the lovable of India. I know I have created multiple videos about Dualite in this channel. And if you want to watch them, you can click the I button above or link in description below to see how we can create cool apps with backend using Dualite. And now Dualite has got even better. And today in this video, I'll show you how we can create mobile apps and web apps using Dualite in minutes. And yeah, you don't need any technical knowledge or coding skills to get started. So let me quickly jump out to my computer screen and show you all new Dualite in action. All right. So this right here is Dualite, the lovable of India. And this is the AI powered app builder that I've been talking about. And now if you do want to, let's say, create a mobile app or a web app with real backend and even deploy the same to the internet in just a single click, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to dualite.dev and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now I have already created an account on the platform. And if you scroll through their homepage, you'll be able to find all these apps that other people have created. And now I'll click on this button that says try Dualite now. So here I'm now logged in and this is where all the magic happens. So towards the center, you can find an input box and all you got to do is to just explain what kind of app you want to build and the features that you want to include in plain English or whatever language that you're comfortable in and just click on the send button. And towards the top, you can select the framework and language. So for example, let's say you're about to build a web app. Well, you have a couple of options here. For example, you can select React plus Tailwind, Chakra, Shadsian, then HTML, CSS and Tailwind or even Angular and Vue. And again, you can also build mobile apps using the platform. So you have all these options in here. And as for languages, you have TypeScript and JavaScript. For example, let's say I want to build a complex QR code generator website where a user can generate customized QR codes, but they can also include their company logo in that QR code as well. So you might have seen a lot of these QR codes like customized one where we will have the company's logo towards the center of the QR code and even then that QR code works. So basically I want to create a website like that where the user can enter a piece of text, a URL or something else and our website will create a QR code with their custom logo, branding and maybe colors and everything else. So I can simply go ahead and give a prompt in here. So I can say create a customizable QR code generator website where a user can enter their content and then also upload a logo and select the brand color to generate a customized QR code. And now if a user chooses to upload a logo, we want to include that logo to be part of that particular QR code. So basically I just went ahead and explained the core feature or functionality of the app that I want to build. And this right here is that. And next up, let's just say you are not comfortable in English or let's say you, you want to build apps in a different language. For example, you might be comfortable in English or maybe you are you're from elsewhere and you want to, let's say, build apps in Portuguese or Dutch or any other language. Well, all you got to do is to click on this button right here that says project rules. So I can click on the same. And now all you got to do is to enter your project specific rules in here. For example, let's say you're comfortable or let's say you are a person who is planning to build an app by chatting to the AI in English. Well, you can simply go ahead and add a project rule in here. I'm comfortable in English. So I'll be chatting and interacting with you in English. So you can go ahead and enter, let's say, modify the language that you want to interact the AI with. So in this case, I have entered English. For example, let's say you're comfortable, like, let's say French. Well, you can simply go ahead and type French and now the AI will keep this project rule in mind and you can start interacting with the AI in French. So that is basically how you select the language that you interact with the AI. And no, not just these, you can also configure other project rules that the AI should follow when you're working on this project. For example, let's say our primary color is going to be shades of blue. Well, I can enter that in here. The primary color scheme of our website is going to be shades of blue. Or if you want to take it to the next level, if you have a specific color code or, you know, design languages or anything else, you can enter that in here. Maybe I'll also enter one more. All the elements and components within our project should have rounded corners. Okay. So that's also one more preference that I have. Well, you can simply go ahead and enter all of that in here. So I'll remove the first one because I'm comfortable in English. So I'll select the option and I'll keep these two and I'll click on the save rules option and it says saved. 
Now, whenever the AI is working on this particular project, it will every time look at this project rules and will take decisions accordingly. And not just that, you can turn a Figma file into code, you can attach API specifications or even connect Superbase for backend, or you can even attach an image and ask the AI to take reference from that particular image as well. Now, this is the initial prompt I'll give, and now I'll click on the send button. Okay, let's wait. So there you go. It says alpha is building your app. So alpha is currently analyzing your request and generating the code. And it says I'll create a customizable QR code generator website with logo integration and brand color selection following your blue color schema and rounded corner design requirements. See, so as you saw, we haven't really entered that blue color thingy or the rounded corners thing in the initial prompt that we gave. But we actually mentioned the same in this particular rules file, right? Now what happens is that every time you give a follow -up prompt to the AI to make any changes or every time you interact with the AI, the AI will have pretty much everything in this particular, you know, rules in its context. And now in this case, it will use shades of blue and also rounded corners. So now it seems like we have a problem in here, but no issues. I'll simply copy the error code and ask the AI to fix it. I get the following error. So could you please fix it? And let's wait for the AI to give us the initial version of the app. All right. So there you go. Here we have the initial version of the app ready. And here we have an input field asking us to enter the URL text or any other content that we want to turn into a QR code. Here we have the option to upload a logo. And again, you also have the option to select a QR code color, which is again, all the features that we asked for. So first of all, let me quickly go ahead and find a logo. And after that, I'll enter the content and add the logo and also select a color. So first of all, I'll have to get a URL. So for example, let's try to turn this dualite.dev url into a qr code and as you can see here we can already find a preview so as soon as i enter this you know particular url in here the qr code is in here and next up i'll upload a logo so here i have downloaded a random logo so this seems like the logo of the photos app in iphone and i'll click on the open button and let's see there you go here we have the logo and again if you want to change the color you can even change the color let, let's say let's put it into something like pink and there you go here we have the qr code and if i click on this download qr code button right here i'll be able to download the qr code so as you saw the core feature of the app is now working and next up if you want to let's say add a real backend to this particular app all you gotta do is to click on the superbase icon right here and you can authorize superbase and connect to your superbase project and add a real backend and maybe you can modify it such that all the created you know qr codes and past generations will be stored in a history page or if you want to let's say make it live and deploy the project that's where things get interesting in just a single click, you can deploy this particular project out to the internet and make it live. And towards the top, you can find an option that says publish. And if I click on the same, it opens up a pop-up like this. All I gotta do is to click on this button that says connect with Netlify. And I'll click on authorize. Okay, so it says authentication successful. And now I'll click on this go live button right here. And now what happens is that Dualite will automatically deploy this particular project to our Netlify account and make it live. So within seconds, you will get a live URL that you could then share with anyone. And if you already have a custom domain and if you want to connect the same to this particular project, well, you can log into your Netlify account and configure the custom domain as well. So that is how simple it is. In which case, let's wait for the AI to publish the same and I'll see you afterwards. So there you go. It says deployment successful. And now I can find this URL right here. So I can copy the same and I can open that up and there you go. Here we have our QR code generator website that we just created live. And this is right now under this Netlify.app subdomain, but you can connect your own custom domain and make it live. And there you go. That is how simple it is. And if you click on the submit to showcase button right here, your app will be shown in this homepage right here. So all these are apps that are showcased in here. And if you want your app to be included in here, you can simply go ahead and click on this button right here. So that is how simple it is. And now in a similar fashion, if you want to create a mobile app, you can go ahead and follow the exact same steps. You can head back and then give a prompt to create a QR code mobile app and hit enter. And now the AI will build it out for you. Now that we have the web version of the QR code generator working, Next up, I'll show you how we can create a mobile app for the same. And for that, I'll head back and this time around, I'll select React Native as the framework and the language is set as TypeScript. And now I'll give a simple prompt, something like this. It says a QR code generator app where users can enter a URL and generate QR codes. And now all I gotta do is to click on the send button. Within seconds, Dualite will go ahead and create a mobile app using React Native. And yeah, let's wait for it. All right, so there you go. Here we have the mobile version of the QR code generator. 
and now as you can see here we have a input box asking us to enter the url and we also have the button that says generate qr code first of all i'll try entering google.com and i click on generate qr code and there you go here we have the qr code a couple of options in here and we even have a recent qr code section right here so i believe if i go ahead and let's say create a new qr code the same should get added in here for example let's say facebook.com I'll click on generate QR code and here we have the updated QR code and now there you go that same is added in here and maybe let's say dualite.dev and now I can click on generate and there you go. So our QR code mobile app is also working. Next up if you want to let's say add any new features or you want to incorporate new features into your app well all you gotta do is to give follow prompts in this input box right here hit enter and you can get going. And again, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can even enter project rules for this particular project and add the same in here. And if you want to, you can even integrate Superbase into your project by clicking on this button right here. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to create both a mobile app and a web app using dualite.dev. And if you do want to create a web app, a mobile app or your next SaaS, all you're going to do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to dualite.dev, sign up for a new account and you can just go ahead and give a simple text prompt in the language that you're comfortable in and get going from there. You just give the prompt, hit enter and the AI gets to work. And the interesting thing is that you can even add a real backend to your project using Superbase in just a single click. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.